typical running week for you leading into a marathon, you said you go through seven pairs of shoes per week uh, or you, you rotate through seven pairs of shoes. Just how many kilometers do you get through on a weekly basis? And, and I guess what's the frequency of your sessions and amount of volume you get through your legs? Uh, so during a, um, <clears throat> during a marathon block, like sort of in the, in the thick of it, it will be um, somewhere between 150, 160 Ks a week. Um, and then break, breaking down that week um, would be the start of the week's pretty much just mileage and sort of recovering from, from what would have been a big Sunday workout. Um, so, and then most days early in the week, sort of Monday to Wednesday, be a one run on Monday, and then the rest of the week will be sort of two runs a day. Um, and second round of the day is usually 6K or half an hour um, just in the afternoon, which just helps. It's sort of pretty hard to get the volume up there without doing doubles. Um, and then um, workouts during a marathon block are Thursday and Sunday. Um, sort of a big workout Thursday morning, um, which would be sort of marathon specific stuff, usually ends up being somewhere between 22 to 24 K sort of all up with, with warm up and cool down. Um, then, then the next workout will be, um, will be Sunday, which the way, the way we structure things is, is Sunday's a long run day, but with a workout. Um, so the way that would look is it might be like 20 K easy at the start. And then, um, you sort of get back, put your race shoes on and you might do, you know, five by three K or, or, um, you know, some sort of workout at the end of after the 20K, um, which the purpose of that is just to get used to running at marathon pace on tired legs. Um, so, and that's been super beneficial, I think, since I started doing that sort of training um, a couple of years ago, pretty much noticed the difference straight away. Um, I think it's, it's super beneficial rather than, and I don't know, getting out for, for 35K, just jogging um, can be pretty arduous. Whereas you go and run 20, 22 K easy and then, and then put a workout in at the end. Um, it definitely helps, helps pass the time. Um, so that's sort of what, it, what a typical week looks like. And the, the actual runs that make up the mileage around that are broken into, if it's the day after a workout, it will just be sort of, you know, very light jogging anywhere from 4.30 to, to five minute Ks. Um, and then, um the other days are um might be a little bit quicker but still very much just just jogging trying not to hit it's sort of a gray area that everyone talks about um sort of trying not to dip into that where you end up running the majority of mileage in this gray area that's not quite a workout and not quite a, a session but also not quite jogging and you're not allowing your body to recover and you're also not gaining any fitness from it and so you're just in this sort of you know strange um limbo where you're not you're not fully recovering and it's yeah it's it's not a good place to be so i think ensuring that you're running your easy runs and your recovery runs like super easy what role does threshold training or speed work and you know recovery play in your training program and there's specific protocols that you implement i know for instance we've talked a little bit on the show about um, like cryotherapy or ice baths as a good way to reduce inflammation. Um, what, what techniques have you used and what, I guess, uh, how do you recover after a big Sunday um, distance run? I used to, I was, for a while there, I was doing ice baths on, on Sundays. Um, Sunday afternoons, the gym, my old gym that I was at <clears throat> had, had ice baths, which you could use. And I was doing it with a mate. And um, I think ice is probably one of those things that, um, you know, some people love it and some people don't. I think it's a it's a bit of a personal preference type thing. Um, I, I sort of really enjoyed it and um, and felt like I got the benefit from it, whether that was placebo or not. Um, yeah. Who knows? Um, and then, other than that, it's sort of I mean, yeah, sleep. You sort of can't you can't um, give enough credit to how much of a role sleep yeah. plays in in recovering um, from that sort of stuff, particularly, you know, if you've got the luxury to be able to have a nap on a Sunday after a long run or um, making sure you're getting your, your eight to 10 hours a night. Um, 
So I think that, that plays a massive role. Outside of that, I don't really do too much. Um, lucky enough to have a pair of the um, pair of recovery boots, which again, jury's sort of still out on the on the science and and if they work. But um, I mean, if you strip it all back, it, it it forces you to sit down for half an hour and do nothing. So you know, even if that's the benefit, um, that's pretty good.